All right, Rambler Man Moto and Drone here. It is a chilly Monday night here as I'm taping this. And uh, the reason I'm, I came out was a few. I made, I, I took my Shoei Neotech 2 helmet apart, at least the visors and the cheek pads, and reinstalled them. And I made darn sure that the visor was properly connected. I also looked at the microphone I was running, and the microphone, the way I had it positioned, I think may have created a small gap for wind to get in. I'm still feeling a good amount of air coming in on my front cheeks. And uh, it can't be the microphone, because I removed it and just ran it under the helmet, like under the, uh, the chin and the front. I've got, oh, all right. I just closed the top vent and the front vent is not open. Let me make sure. All right, so one thing is on the front breath guard, I'm not sure if I had it installed correctly. I think I might've had it in front of the vent holes instead of behind you could you know, insert it either way and now that i have confirmed i've installed it correctly and honestly i don't know what it was before i took it all apart it's not necessarily hitting me between the eyes the way it was before so that's an improvement we'll see how this recording sounds if we can notice any difference in the recording. So I have the microphone cable running under the chin area. Um, the microphone before was running under the black plastic and created a small gap that I think was enough to create some of the wind noise I heard. I've also adjusted the headlamp the final time. I, came to see if anybody would flash me I don't think I'm too high and then um, I do plan to just double check these driving lights another time I think I might have the clutch a little too responsive right now I did adjust it the other day and thought I had gotten it right but I realized I was adjusting it warm to hot which you're not supposed to do. So uh, I'll try to do that some other time when it's cold. I just wanted to get out tonight. All right, one update on this error, well, this cylinder deactivation message that's coming up. Uh, I'm not gonna look down too much. I can go back and watch it on the video better to see if it kept doing it. But I found that some of you are actually on the same Indium forums and saw my YouTube videos, which thank you for that. But I posted a question on the discussion boards. Really, I just wanted to see if other Springfield owners saw the same thing down here with that cylinder deactivation method. It didn't make any message. It didn't make any sense to me. One person said they did, but their bike runs normal and that it's normal. Um, I had other people log on saying they own that bike and they've never seen that message except when you should per the owner's manual coming to a complete stop um, one guy said if the bike is running fine ignore it the dealers will just dig up a can of worms hey which I get I get that response I told my wife that she laughed and said that's me um, she meant that about herself then the other guy was like, I would be riding that straight to a dealer and having them take a look at it. That's probably more me. Uh, so I'm going to get in touch with the dealer. Right now it seems to be running fine. But that cylinder deactivation shouldn't be coming up. Especially in 5th and 6th gear. The owner's manual says that. I'm going to see if I can get this bike up to 60 so I can test kind of a highway plus speed. It's not doing it right now. Let me roll off the throttle. It doesn't do it. Gotta 
watch stuff here. check the helmet noise a little bit right now I have to say I think this is a lot quieter now when I stop I've got a neck gaiter that I'm gonna put under my neck to see if I can change the flow of the sound because that would confirm maybe larger cheek pads would help I saw that Shoei sells different cheek pads with what they call a noise isolator. One with mesh that allows more ventilation and one with leather. And the leather one I can't find for sale in the US, or at least I'm not sure. I asked the sellers and they said they weren't sure. It's, it's definitely different than what I had and this is better it's not hitting me right between the eyes and when I looked at the instruction manual I did it the way it was supposed to be and I watched some videos too so I let's see let's get this up to speed here there's some wind noise but I would describe that as normal wind noise I think this is, is actually a lot better and to the commenter who mentioned the cheek pads, I'm looking into it. And I'm gonna order the next size up, which is only one size larger that you can go. And I'll see how those do. Put this uh, neck gaiter on. I gotta get off, take the helmet off. While I'm parked here, I'm going to mention that I'm also considering, I didn't think I was going to, slip new slip-ons. I think I'm going to get Reinhardt slip-ons. One of the things is I want to be able to hear the darn engine while I'm going down the road, especially if I have any music playing. And right now I can't. Alright guys, so uh, by the way, the heated gear worked great. Um, you know, these things have fuses that are supposed to be in. I didn't use the heated gloves. Um, I might get heated grips put on this thing later. But um, I was using the heated coat. Or the heated jacket that's inside my coat. And then um, the heated pants. And they're both working fine. I've added a neck gaiter. To see if... You know, I want to test the theory that I don't know if larger cheek pads would keep even more air out, but I'm going to put on this neck gaiter. Now we're going to test the helmet noise again. So I think the air is coming from underneath. The neck gaiter, I think it's actually worse with the neck gaiter, but having trouble diagnosing this helmet and where the air is coming from but there's just too much going on with traffic for me to be goofing off too much right now I think that it's coming from underneath because I, I just don't see how it could come from the front I tell you this heated gear does make a big difference like aside from like it reducing my range of motion it, as far as temperature goes, I'm comfortable. Thanks again for watching. Welcome any comments in the comment section.